Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Shabbat Service for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. It is Saturday, January 16th, 2021. And on the Hebrew calendar, we are in the month of Shabbat. This is the second day of Shabbat in the Hebrew year of 5781. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm going to go through a few announcements. Um, actually, um, we have had, we were now in a new uh, month, in a new Hebrew month um, of Shabbat. We went over that um, on Arab Rosh Kadesh Shabbat. So this is the second day. There's 30 days in this month. And um, you can go back and listen to the archives. There's Holy Communion. That's the second time of the month that we've had uh, communion. We usually do communion twice a month. Uh, on the very, the first time on the very first day of the month, um, uh, of the calendar month. And then also, you know, on the eve of a brand new Hebrew month. So. Um, we, the, our next um, Holy Communion will be February 6th, um, so you can prepare for that, um, and then also February 13th, um, we will also um, be having Holy Communion, because that is the last day of the month of Shabbat, and then we will be going into the month of Adar 1. So that's that announcement. Uh, we also do um, a weekly Bible study, and we are reading through the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, Tree of Life version. And this upcoming week, we are going to be completing um, the book of Proverbs. We are going to actually be doing Proverbs um, 16 to 31, ending the book of Proverbs. And then we will... Um, go into the book of Job, which is a very interesting book, um, and a lot of people can relate to Job in many, many ways. Um, so we will be doing that also um, in, two, in, in uh, two, week, uh, two weeks. It'll take us to get through uh, the book of Job. Um, we are in the Ketchabim, so um, that's the last segment of the Tanakh, um, also known as the Old Testament. It's um, the same, the very same books are in, um, in the Bible that are in the Tanakh. So it's nothing, uh, the only difference is, is it's in a different order. Um, and I will, that's all explained in our, uh, Bible study and you're, you're willing to listen and participate in that as well. Um, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we meet on a platform known as freeconferencecall.com. Um, everyone is invited. We and we certainly welcome you to come. There's uh, several ways that you can get there. Uh, there is a phone number, just like when you enter, you know, meetings. And there's different platforms that people join meetings. I right now people are into Zoom. Actually, free conference call.com was around before zoom and i actually prefer this platform better um actually than zoom so anyway um it's freeconferencecall.com um i will post we belong to um actually more than just three social media platforms now we have joined um gab which is um the owner of gab is a christian um, very nice platform. It's growing uh, exponentially. So um, be patient with it as you're coming over. We'd like to have you over there. Um, we are uh, we are on currently Facebook, um, USA dot life, and MeWe and now Gap. Um, and in the future, we're probably going to be looking to, to our own website as well. Um, but uh, those are the platforms we're on. And each each of those platforms, I also have a personal, you know, personal um, 
profile so you can also friend me just like you did on uh, Facebook. Um, the, there's a difference with Gab. It's kind of, it kind of looks like it's, it's like, like uh, Facebook in a way, but it's not. Um, it's kind of like Twitter because you follow somebody versus friending them. And, but it's, it's a very nice platform. Come join us there. There are other Christians over there as well. So, um, and believers. So come on over. Um, same same thing for USA.life and MeWe. Um, you'll you'll find the same scenario. Um, so it's it's they they are very nice platforms. And of course we're we're on Facebook as well. Um, so those are our platforms. And what I do is I will post announcements on those platforms. Um, you will see the telephone number for freeconferencecall.com as well as the website. So there are 76 countries that have free access to freeconferencecall.com. And we have a dedicated line. Uh, we have a dedicated channel for, for our ministry. So you'd have to look at, you'd have to click onto that. You'll have a drop down menu. Um, it's going to say toll, but um, it is not toll. Even the United States number says toll. But I, I, I've used freeconferencecall.com for college classes, and I've never had to pay anything. So um, that toll is not true. Because what you're going to do is you're going to add the access code number, and the access code number is the same for every single uh, country. Um, and so you might want to write this down um, because that's that's not going to change. The access code is 3968037 and the number sign. Some people just say and pound. <laughs> um, so it's 3968037 pound. Um, so um, in all of USA, if you're in the United States, the number is one nine. Seven eight nine nine zero five three eight five. Then it will ask for the access code, which is the three nine six eight zero three seven pound. So that's an example. Now, um, again, um, there's international dial-in numbers. I gave somebody from Kenya the number um, just recently, and hope to see uh, him on. Uh, but everybody has the same access code. It's just the international uh, dial-in numbers. Um, you will all have, depending on what country you're calling from, you will have that number to call. Then wait. It will ask for the access code. Put in the access code. Don't forget to put the number sign. And if you want to join by web, um, you can click onto the website also. Um, and then there's another way because we've had someone from Hong Kong and someone from the Philippines that is not on that list, um, but um, there is access through a wi the Wi-Fi data. So come join us on Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'd love to have you. We do prayer. We've had um, someone actually perform music. Someone came on and read uh Holy Spirit led writings. Um, we've done teachings on the seven books, uh, the seven, I'm sorry, the seven churches of Revelation. Um, we've done a lot of prayer. Right now, we've been doing a lot of spiritual warfare, praying, uh, fellowshipping, discussion. We've done some praise and worship. It's, it's kind of like whatever uh, we're deciding to do, um, you know, as a body Messiah when we come on on Tuesday night. We don't you know, the agenda is really to do some praying and things like that. And we've been doing that for quite some time. Um, so, um, come join us. Um, you can talk to us live and real in, in real time. It's really nice to fellowship with, uh, other members of the body of Messiah. So that is all I'm going to say about that. And, um, Pastor Noel also, um, does recordings. He's been doing recordings on Facebook. Uh, for services on Saturdays. So keep your eyes open uh, for posts from Pastor Noel as well. So that is all I am going to say about announcements. I'm going to move this into the actual Shabbat services and we're going to open this with prayer. Father God, Father God, we come to you on this, your Sabbath. It is the seventh day. It is the day that you have sanctified and made it holy. 
and we are honoring you. Father of God, you have shown us an example that in six days you created everything and on the seventh day you rested and you ordained this to be our day of rest, our day to just be in your glory. And we ask your Holy Spirit to come and guide us in this service today. That as we read through the Torah and the half Torah and the Brit Kadashah, that you open our eyes, open our ears, the eyes of our heart, the ears of our heart, so that we may see the things that maybe we might have overlooked in our own reading, but it's your leading, you're leading us. Um, there are things that you want us to know out of this particular uh, parasha, Vayera. And we thank you, Father. We thank you for your holy word. We thank you for your Shabbat. We, we thank you for Sabbath. We thank you for the Shabbatat. Uh, and it is made to be with you. Shabbat is made to rest, to sanctify, to be holy. And Saturday is the day that you ordained. And we know that biblically to be so. And we want to honor you, Father. We want to keep your day and keep it holy. We honor Yeshua, who gave of his very life for us. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen and amen. Well, Exodus chapter 20, beginning with verse 8. Remember Yom Shabbat to keep it holy. You are to work six days and to do all your work, but the seventh day is a Shabbat to Adonai, your God. In it you shall not do any work, not you, nor your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, your cattle, nor the outsider that is within your gate. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Thus Adonai blessed Yom Shabbat and made it holy. And the Lord's greatest commandment, Shema Israel, found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Um, this is the Lord's greatest commandment, and if you know it, say it with me. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevon, Nachuto Leolam, Bayad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words which I am commanding you today are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And the Lord Yeshua said, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. He added to that and saying, the entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And Amidah is standing before God. We have three blessings. The first blessing is the patriarchs. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, God most high, who bestows loving kindness and creates all, who remembers the kindnesses of the Father and brings the Redeemer to their descendants for the sake of his name in love, King, Helper, Savior, and Shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, Shield of Abraham. And the second blessing is God's might. You are mighty forever, Lord, giving life to the dead. Great is your saving power. He sustains the living with steadfast love with, and with great compassion. He gives life to the dead. He upholds the fallen, heals the sick, sets the captives free, and keeps faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, master of might? And who can compare you with you? O king who brings death, restores life, and causes salvation to flourish. You are faithful to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, 
who gives life to the dead. And the third blessing is for holiness. Um, and in Hebrew, that's known as Kedusha. You are holy and your name is holy. Of holy ones, praise your, you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Matovu, how lovely. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, and your dwellings, O Israel. Because of your great loving kindness, I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Adonai, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. As for me, I will bow and worship. I will kneel before Adonai, my maker. As for me, my prayer to you, Adonai, is for a time of favor. Oh God, in your great love, answer me with your truth, the truth of your salvation. In its Hayim, the tree of life declaration, we say of the Torah, it is a tree of life to those who grasp it, and happy are those who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. Peace. Bring us back to you, Adonai, and we will return. Renew our days as of old, by Yam Ahu in that day. And it is said, Adonai will then be king over all the earth. In that day, Adonai will be a chad, and his name a chad. May God's great name be magnified and sanctified in the world that he created by his will. And may he establish his kingdom, cause salvation to sprout, and may he bring the Messiah closer in your lifetime and in your days and within the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily and soon, and say, Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and ever, blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, extolled, honored, uplifted, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed be he who is beyond all blessing and song, praise and consolation spoken in the world, and say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his heights make peace upon us and upon all Israel and say, Amen. And the blessing of Messiah, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Dvar Hakayim Mashiach Yeshua. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of life, Messiah Yeshua. And stay with me now, Messiah's prayer. Our Father in heaven, sanctified be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. And in the ancient days, the high priest sounded the shofar to gather the people to come to worship. And we are going to use the shofar to call to worship. And I'm going to pause it now and then come back and we're going to begin the Torah portion for this week. Um, but as I pause it, um, this is the time to pause to listen to two or three praise and worship songs that are highly anointed. I cannot incorporate them here because of copyright issues and um, I don't want to, you know, cause a copyright infraction. So I'm going to pause it. Um, when I do post to all the social media um, sites, I usually will post um, some songs that you might be interested in. But if you have your own, that's fine as long as they're highly anointed. And, and then we will come back and we will be ready to um, take part in the Torah portion. Um, and the parashat this week is parashat Vayera. And it means, and I appeared. So we will come back. Um, I'm actually going to start a part two uh, with the Torah portion. 